Hey, welcome back everyone. Um, this is not going to be uh, a video that is part of my lug series. This is just a little sideline. Um, I had a couple of my subscribers ask me um, if I ever, you know, did a video on, sh you know, smaller bags. Um, how I light carry, I guess, would be uh, the terminology that would be used. Um, this is kind of like my, I wouldn't say small bag, but this is what I carry with me or another, you know, smaller purse on the days when I just don't feel like lugging everything around with me. Um, you know, the kids are in school. My oldest is getting ready to go take her nap because she has to work tonight. So, um, my husband's at work. I stripped all the covers and everything off of our bed, um, that's one of them. I can't wash all of them at the same time because even though we have a big washer, you know, I tend to not fill it completely up. That way it more efficiently washes the clothes that I do have. Um, so I'm filming on my new phone, which is the Moto G Power 2023. I finally had to turn the other one in. The screen was so uh, just beyond cracked, even with the um, screen guard on it. So this is my new one, and it already has a new case. Um, well, it's new to the phone. Um, I had it for my Moto G Power 2022, and I got my pop socket rings um, finally from Amazon. So I'm kind of ecstatic about that. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, I am having some blood sugar issues today. Even though I have eaten, um, there are just going to be days when my blood sugar doesn't want to cooperate with me. And that's okay. You know, it's part of life. So this bag is the Rosetti Sable Crossbody. This one was recently purchased from Burlington. And I get a lot of my bags from Burlington now, guys, because it's the only store that's less than five miles away from my house. Ross is about 10 to 12 miles away. TJ Maxx, pretty much the same because they sit next to each other um, in the old area we, where we used to live. We moved about not even a full 20 miles away um, into a new city uh, a little under two years ago. So unfortunately, that leaves me with pretty much thrift stores and Burlington if I want to get a new handbag. Um, now, of course, when we're a little more financially stable, sometimes my daughter and I make the trip, um, you know, back the 10 or 12 miles just to take a look and see what TJ Maxx and Ross and, you know, Target and some of those other places have to offer. But anyway, so again, this is the Rosetti Sable crossbody in the black and cognac brown, which I like because this enables me to wear pretty much whatever I want with my wardrobe. It even looks good with gray. So this one has a lot of compartments for being such a small bag. Um, for a long time, I didn't like bags that were longer than they were width-wise, um, but I've become kind of a big fan of them lately because you can just get more stuff in them and you're not forced to carry around this huge you know, boat-like purse, which is not my cup of tea and has never have been my cup of tea. So um, this is not an inclusive strap. However, they do cover the extra phalange with kind of like a little extra um, leather band, which I'm okay with. I mean, it still sticks out a little bit, but, you know, nowhere near as bad as some of the other bags that I've had. The strap is, um, I'm pretty sure this bag is vegan leather. I'm not 100% sure, but I like it. So it's got the two pockets in the front, then a zip pocket, and then a back snap pocket. And 90% of the time, that's where my phone goes. I can put my phone in front, you know, pockets. However, I just feel safer Especially when I get a newer phone, um, I feel safer putting it, you know, right up against my body. That way, I know if somebody's trying to grab it, I'm definitely going to feel it. I only did one charm on this bag, and it's my initial in, like, multicolored little, you know, plastic gemstones inside resin. This I got at Five Below. The hardware on this bag is gold. Um, 
again, would have preferred silver, but you know, I'm, I'm not going to flip a switch about it. Um, so in these pockets, I just tend to carry things that, you know, I can reach for really easily. I just have a small kind snack bar with me, which is the caramel almond and sea salt. I have my ride or die clear eyes, maximum itchy eye relief. I have never found a single condition that has happened to my eyes that this stuff does not help or fix. So yeah, I have my nudge coffee bombs in the vanilla latte. They're not carrying my salted caramel right now. And I'm really starting to get a little frustrated with that. All right. So then in this pocket, I have our pills. I have a new barrette that I got from Temu. It's one of those barrettes that you can use to pull a bunch of hair back and put. Um, I opened the other one and I gave it to my 17 year old because she just has a riot of thick curls and she likes to pull them back from her face. And then I kept the one for myself because I do wear a hat at work sometimes. I have a drink pack. This is the blackberry lemonade from Great Value. This is my probably my favorite flavor of those. I have my vape in the Sakura grape, which is an, an oh, I'm obsessed with this flavor. It works so well. And then I have my second favorite candy of all time, the Mamba. I just think these taste better than Starburst and they don't have as much sugar. And then I have two more barrettes in here that I use to hold my hair because my hair is, um, shoulder length right now. So when I have to pin it, you know, when I have to work in the deli or if I have to work in drinks, I have to pin my hair up. So this helps keep it, you know, like attached to, um, you know, my hat and out of my face. So in this pocket, I just keep two masks. I just figure they're probably a little more sanitary that way. Um, my daughter has her um, three months um, epilepsy checkup coming up March 1st. So, you know, I just have a habit of carrying them with me just in case, God forbid, something happens or, you know, we need some help or whatever. So, and then to open this up, you can see it's actually rather spacious for being kind of a smaller bag. All right, so in this little case, um, it's a card holder that I got from Walmart ages ago. They still sell different varieties of these. Um, I just haven't seen this bumblebee for a while. I have all my pertinent cards, my ID and my cash stay in the zip compartment, and then my insurance cards for me, um, you know, and anything else, business cards stay in the zip pocket. And I just literally put them, these pockets are so generous, guys. I literally, look, I can fit my almost entire hand in there. And then y'all know, if you've seen any of my videos, you know, I have to have tissues. All right. I have a reusable bag uh, that I like to carry at least one with me because, you know, you just never know when you're going to like, do an impromptu shop. And I literally came up with this idea. I had an old floral um, glasses container. Um, my youngest didn't want the container that went with her readers. Um, she's not needing, um, actual, you know, like professional lenses yet. Her eyes aren't that bad. She's 14. Um, but she does get, um, two, two, I don't even know what you call it. 2.00, um, in the readers to help her see. So, you know, I was debating with myself. I was like, okay, well, you know, lately I've been throwing a lot of this stuff away if my kids don't want it or donating them. And then I thought, you know, given how many pens I carry around, all the time. This might actually be a neat little solution and it actually is. So I'm carrying a ballpoint pen, a blue and a black Optimus fine point. And then this is a gel pen. Um, when I want to write a little more precisely, I um, use that one. So yeah, I turned something that would have been garbage into something that I can actually use. This is my little change purse for right now. I picked this up in Dollar General. Mostly what I carry around are um, quarters and dimes in case the kids, you know, like want to get some ice cream or something at school. I can just pop it out of my change container real fast. You know, like if we're in the um, parent pickup line or parent drop off parents, just a little side note. Um, if you have to bathe and dress your kid in the parent drop off line, 
please just park and let your child walk because you're holding up the line badly. And trust me, nobody understands that better than I do because my kid is epileptic half the time and doesn't want to go to school. But if that's going to be the case and she's not going to get out of the car, I will pull up to the side and not inconvenience anyone else. Anyway, that was just a little public service message. My Aquawell antibacterial wipes. I don't go anywhere without some kind of antibacterial. So I have my paparazzi. This is mango. Y'all, I, I for some reason thought it was orange. This is brand new. Um, I've used it twice. So kind of excited. I love the fragrance. So my planner right now actually has the planner. And then it also has a notepad attached to it. So as y'all can see, I don't really need a separate notepad right now, which works great. Oh, and this is um, Kitty's. And I got it from Amazon. So it's only a one year calendar, but I like the fact that it's got a um, notepad attached to it. I changed out my um, little, you know, key fob or whatever for now um, because the lug one is starting to get a little shredded and I'm going to use my sewing machine and kind of, you know, re-thread it back together. Then the last two things in here are a cosmetic container. And just has my usual stuff. I'm carrying my little girl's chapstick in here, though. This is the um, Blistex Satin Nectar. Um, all my tried and trues, although I switched out to a tinier uh, Tide to Go. One Super Plus tampon. Flawless concealer. Uh, Tahitian Gardenia, my favorite fragrance. A crystal nail file, because my nails do still shred. Um, balmy lip blush, my eyebrow, purse eyebrow stuff, which is the Maybelline Express Brow, um, Believe Beauty, Skinny Mascara, love that stuff, eyebrow and um, eyelash comb, one panty liner, and um, fingernail clippers. I could not think of the name of those things to save my life just like, really? It's not that hard. <laughs> I'm sure you all have days when your brain just goes, uh, do, do. Anyway, and then the last thing in here, um, I don't think I have anything in the zip. No. If I do put anything in the back zip, it's usually receipts. But anyway, that's the inside. Quite spacious. Like I said, these things are amazing because they fit a lot of stuff. And then the little second pouch in here. And like I said, this is my light carry, y'all. I still do need some things, but, you know, it's a heck of a lot better than carrying around a, you know, huge amount. So I just keep a tea bag in here lately because somebody um, at work got sick and my customers literally um, hiccup, sneeze, and cough all over me. So I keep an Echinacea Plus, which is really good. I have a vape inhaler. As you can see, I have some breath fresheners. I have a panty liner. I've got a lot of cold and flu medicine right now. And on, every time I get a new pack of the um, Rolaids Chewies, I always put two or three in here just in case. And then this thing, I can't even remember where I found it. I think it was in the parking lot at work. But I love it because it's you unscrew this thing right here and you can turn this into like a charm for any bag like this is what I'm using it for like um, if I have you know like my loyalty cards and stuff like that you know that won't fit on my actual keys then I can use this and screw it back up I just keep it in here just for the you know like what ifs type things but anyway panty liners secret to go wipes allergy pills um, some wipes some wet ones Lens cleaning towelettes uh, for my glasses as well as my phone. Um, yeah, so, you know, oh, and then I also have been carrying a lot of these lately. I bought a big pack. These are the Ginger Chews, the lemon flavor. These are really great for upset stomachs. Plus, ginger is an antioxidant, so you can't go wrong with carrying around something that you know is going to help you feel better. Anyway, so again, this has just been kind of like a little sidelight. I'm still 
doing my lug series. The Rosetti Sable Crossbody. They had it in basic black as well. Um, and then all cognac, but I kind of like the contrast. Like I said, this makes it to where if I put brown shoes on, I match. If I put black on, I match. And I mean, let's face it. I think I have like 16, anywhere between 16 to 20, just basic black bags. So anytime you can get some variety, my suggestion is to do it anyway. So I hope you guys have had and have been having a wonderful couple of weeks. Um, Take care of yourselves and remember that God is always there whenever you need him. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. Bye.